we can measure percentage gain and loss of mass of plant tissue. The change in mass as a percentage equals the mass at the end minus the mass at the start divided by mass at the start multiplied by 100. The change in mass can be positive or negative depending on whether mass was gained or lost. You need to memorise this formula for your exam so that you can measure the percentage gain or loss of mass of plant tissue. Let's quickly recap the practical that investigated the mass of plant tissue. So using a potato, we cut out cylinders using a cork borer. We're going to weigh each of these individual potato cylinders before then placing them into solutions of different concentrations. After they've been in the solutions for a while, we're going to weigh the cylinders again to see if there's any change in mass due to osmosis. So using the results of this practical, how can we calculate the percentage gain or loss of mass in practice? At the beginning of an experiment, the mass of a sample of potato cut using a cork borer was 2.4 grams. After being placed in a 0.6 mole per decimeter cubed sucrose solution for one hour, the cylinder lost 0.4 grams of mass. Calculate the percentage change in mass for the plant tissue. So step one is to complete the table. So in this column, we have the sucrose concentration, which is 0.6 mole per decimeter cubed. The mass of the potato cylinder at the start was 2.4 grams. This was provided in the question. This column is blank. This is what we need to work out. And we know that the change in mass was minus 0.4 grams. So we know that the final mass of the cylinder was 0.4 grams less than it was at the beginning because there is a minus in front of this value. So to find the mass at the end, we're going to do 2.4 minus 0.4, which equals 2. Step two, insert the masses into the formula. Here's the formula, so the change in mass as a percentage equals the mass at the end minus the mass at the start divided by the mass at the start times 100. So we know the mass at the start was 2.4 grams and we've just calculated that the end mass is two grams. Let's put these values into the formula. This will be two minus 2.4 divided by 2.4 times 100. This equals minus 16.7%. So the percentage change in mass for the plant tissue is minus 16.7%. Repeating the experiment at different sucrose concentrations will provide a full table of data. So here you can see the average change in mass as the sucrose concentration increases going down the table. Here is the value that we just calculated in the previous example. Now you can see in this column that some of the values have a positive sign in front of them and some of them have a negative sign. A plus indicates that there was water gain because the mass has increased in percentage and a negative sign indicates water loss. At low sucrose concentrations, you can see that the mass is increasing, but as the sucrose concentration increases, the average change in mass decreases. This is because more water is lost by osmosis as the sucrose concentration increases. So let's have a look at these values. What do you think they're going to look like on a graph? This data can be plotted on a line graph. On the x-axis, we have sucrose concentration in moles per decimeter cubed, and the y-axis shows change in mass as a percentage. The results of our experiment plotted on this graph would look something like this. You can see that as the sucrose concentration increases, the change in mass decreases. Now at this point here, you can see that there's no net movement by osmosis. This falls within the range of X equals 0.25 to 0.3 moles. Therefore, this is the concentration where the solution is equal to the concentration of the potato cell and therefore no net movement occurs. In the exam, you might be asked to draw a graph of percentage gain or loss in mass against sucrose concentration. And it's important that you can also interpret graphs like this. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. 
To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there.